Police are probing the discovery of a dead man in the middle of the Guava Gap Main Road in Stony Hill, St. Andrew, Tuesday afternoon. The man who up to publication was still unidentified was seen lying in the roadway by passing motorists who summoned the authorities, police said. Reports reaching Observer Online indicated that around 1.30 p.m., passing motorists saw the now deceased unresponsive along the roadway and summoned the police. On arrival, police found the man lying face down in the middle of the road with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head. The body of the deceased was clad in a multicolored t-shirt, black shorts, black socks, and yellow black slippers. He is of dark complexion and has low-cut ear style. Four spent casing were found on the scene. No motive has been established in the connection with the killing, the police said. The Central Committee of Police Federation has revealed that a police constable has died after the motorcycle he was driving collided with a motor car early Wednesday morning in St. Catherine. Dead is 30-year-old Constable Renardo Spence, who was assigned to the Spanish Town Traffic Department. According to reports, he was driving his motorcycle and was involved in a collision with a motor car in the vicinity of Island Farm Gutters in Old Harbor. He was pronounced dead at 2.8 a.m. the Spanish Town Hospital. The Beryllium security guard who was killed during an apparent accidental shooting on Tuesday morning has been identified. The deceased man is Kevin Hunter, a member of the Jamaica Defense Force Reserve. Hunter was reportedly fatally shot in the chest on the compound of Beryllium's Blake Lane headquarters in Kingston by a man who is also employed with the security company. Reports are that about 11.15 a.m., Hunter was running towards one of the company's truck in a bid to open the door for his co-worker. The co-worker who was in the process of holstering a Glock pistol was reportedly trying to close the vehicle door when his finger caught on the trigger of the firearm, causing it to discharge around eating Hunter in the upper chest. Hunter reportedly fell to the ground and was assisted to Kingston Public Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. The security company in release confirmed the incident, adding that it is working closely with the police in their investigation.